What is the cure for ADD? Time and again, whether it be someone who is dealing with attention deficit disorder or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, we see people move from one thing to another in search of the one thing that will magically and quickly bring the relief they have been seeking. Why do so many go searching for what I call a magic pill, like searching for the Holy Grail? It may very well spring forth from the underlying belief that these conditions have one and only one cause. Although this might turn out to be true in some cases of ADD, in the vast majority of cases this is not necessarily so. What we do know at the current time, however, is that there is not a universally agreed upon cause for ADD or ADHD. Oh, you can be sure that many in a wide range of specialty areas will claim to know the cause of ADD. It's not uncommon for a neurofeedback practitioner, a chiropractor, an herbalist, a psychologist, a nutritionist to profess to know the real cause of these conditions. And as you might have guessed, it just so happens that their particular area of specialty holds the only true cure or relief. Now let me be clear about something. I am a licensed and practicing psychologist and certified neurofeedback practitioner. I have seen people improve tremendously after using neurofeedback therapy. I have also seen people make a great deal of progress with their ADD by taking certain nutritional supplements, by cutting things from their diet, by getting chiropractic care. I have seen them all work for some people, but I have not seen, nor does the research suggest, that any of them help all the people with ADD. The problem as I see it is that once someone has used any particular method in an attempt to deal effectively with their aggravating symptoms, and they do not meet with the earth-shaking results they had hoped for, they might quickly scrap the whole thing and rapidly move on to the next potential miracle. There is a particular pot roast recipe that I'm fond of. For spices, it includes ginger, garlic, poppy seeds, salt, rosemary, turmeric, cumin, bay leaves, red pepper flakes, and cloves. If I were to cook my roast with only salt, for example, I might conclude that salt does not work and decide to discard it as a possible flavoring for my dinner. In fact, any of the spices I use in my recipe by themselves would probably leave a great deal to be desired. Together, however, they coalesce to create a flavor that cannot be produced by any one spice alone, but they can only be enjoyed after the collective flavors have merged. I am proposing that you might find my pot roast metaphor a useful way to think about the many wonderful options that exist to move you from where you are now to where you want to be. Neurofeedback may or may not give you the complete relief you'd hope for, and a specific nutritional supplement may not do the trick, but the chances are very good indeed that you'll find several things that will help in some way to varying degrees. When you employ them all simultaneously, the symptoms that had once plagued you may slowly or quickly become a distant memory. I urge you to set aside, at least temporarily, the belief that ADD or ADHD have only one cause and only one true method of treatment and instead begin to get curious asking, what methods can I use and in what combination can I use them that will allow me to move beyond the bothersome symptoms of ADD into a more focused and productive realm of life? I believe this mindset or manner of thinking about your current situation will allow you to find your own recipe, a collection of two or more things that will have you one day looking back and noticing just how far you've come and how much happier you are. If you're interested in learning more about neurofeedback therapy, I'm the author of a 168-page book that you can download for only $7.77 from www.neurofeedbackbook.com. I can be reached at 949-454-0996. My name is Dr. Claire Albright, and you can go to neurofeedbackbook.com and download a PDF ebook about neurofeedback therapy. Thank you.